David, this is probably not going to be one of your toughest uh, forecasts, is it? Not really, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> not really. The rain's in the forecast, a front's on its way, yeah, low pressure, uh, moisture from the Pacific, and just the ingredients for rain. That's the yeah. basic idea for tonight and tomorrow, of course. 48 was the high today. That's under cloudy skies and, and rain, too, of course. Normal is 53. We picked up some rain in the past six or seven hours, six hundredths of an inch, and before that, we just had a trace. So really, the rain has been of recent hours, actually, and it'll be continuing tonight and also tomorrow morning, and then showers throughout the remainder of the day. A little gusty, too, during the day. It's sort of a wet over all areas of the city now this evening with the cloudy skies and rain reported in almost every point around the Sound, north, central, down the southern part, and, of course, western sections as well. SeaTac is right in the midst of that. 46 is the present reading there. Winds are out of the south, and humidity's high. The pressure is steady, but on the verge of falling again at 29.88. The satellite picture shows that the frontal band is pretty wide here as it enters us and moves into western part of uh, British Columbia and becomes more narrow as it extends on out into the Pacific. But the main thing to keep in mind is there's plenty of moisture here. There's very unstable air. And there's certainly rain in this area. There's rain all out in through this portion, oh, well out to about a 1,000 miles. So that means showers persisting well into tomorrow night and probably decreasing on Wednesday, but we'll have to see how early on Wednesday anyway. Now, in terms of uh, our state weather, we're in the 40s and some 30s in the mountains. We have wind advisors for the sound and out on the coast. We will tomorrow expect most of our highs in the 40s and low 50s. And the wet weather, not just confined to Cascades and West, but primarily there, but showers persisting over in the eastern portions, too. The past conditions are bare and wet. Snow is falling at Stevens and White now. Rain and snow mix at Snoqualmie and Blewett. No real problems there, but it will be continuing snow for tonight and tomorrow. The snow level about 2,500 feet. Nationally, we, of course, have the wet conditions here. We have some moisture in the central part of the country, and we have some up around the Great Lakes. The warmest regions in the country, Laredo, Texas. Otherwise, it's been mostly in the 60s and 70s and some 50s around the Great Lakes. Forecast here will be cloudy skies and rain tonight and tomorrow morning, showers and cooler later in the day. It will throw at 49 high, a 43 low, so rather narrow range, gusty winds for tomorrow. And the outlook is for some showery periods, continued highs, mostly low 50s, maybe some mid 50s later in the week, and lows 30s and also low 40s. That's about it. Thank you, That's David. That's about it, right. <laughs> okay.